hey guys good morning thanksgiving week it is thanksgiving week we got a low tide awesome awesome weather today and uh reports are that people were catching a lot of fish this week so oh well, paul was supposed to come with me today but i think he was just so concerned that i would catch so many more fish than him um that he canceled I, I, he was i guess just scared you know so that's the way it goes i mean when you when you're just people don't like to fish with a guy that catches a whole lot of fish i don't understand it first fish of the day on a popping cork i've not fished a popping cork but i'm fishing it right now I'm not had got any bites on my shrimp. Um, now I can put a uh, shrimp on a popping cork. What this is is different than what I normally fish. It's got like beads and stuff on it. And so when you throw it out there, my other float it it just floats. You know, doesn't really make any noise or anything. This when you uh, throw it out there, you you pop it with your line and it's got beads and, and rattles and stuff so it makes a little noise uh, like I said I have not had a bite on my shrimp not one bite and I've been fishing about 30 minutes so that was the first time I've thrown this popping cork and I've got an artificial shrimp on it Sometimes they want that noise that will attract them to come to where they heard the noise. Because they think fish are feeding. Oh. Bite right in. Maybe this is the answer. Because I've really wanted to get any bites on the shrimp. And sometimes that's sometimes that's the way it is, man. You never know. Sometimes they want something artificial. Or they'll really, you know, bite it. They'll really eat it. But yeah, I tried to get Paul to come with me. We, we had arranged to meet down in Darien and fish down there. And I told him, I said, look, man, I'll, I'll let you catch some fish. I mean, I'm not going to catch all of them. You know, I, I just swore up and down. I'd give him a shot to catch something. I don't know, man. He just... Said he wasn't feeling good. Got a little trout. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Two. That's two trout on the popping fork. You can see it. See, it's got these beads on it. See that? Both the fish are kind of way out here off the bank. That's a little guy. They've all been little so far. Big fish, little bitty guys. But at least I'm catching something. Oh, Sorry, there for a minute. Be yeah, off about the prospects for today. I was really worried, um, but I wasn't getting catching fish. I just wasn't catching fish. I don't. I can't explain it. Well, they wouldn't just eat a shrimp. They eat every day. Of course, this is a shrimp too. Apparently, this is, I guess, the popping noise is what attracts them. That's what attracts them. Go. 
little better fish right there. A little bit better. Now we're talking. It's in the neighborhood of being a keeper. Sure it is. Pretty fish. I wasted my money on buying bait this morning. Yeah, I didn't even have this tied on. I, I used to fish with these a, a lot. Uh, over on the Gulf Coast, when we fished over there all the time, they, they have a lot of flats that have grass on them. We would fish with these because it'd keep your bait right up above the grass. And you know, we'd pop, we just used artificials. We didn't use live shrimp there. Live shrimp costs a whole lot more in the Gulf Coast than it does over here. Now we caught a lot of fish on these. And when I moved over here, I fished with these some. I caught some fish every once in a while. But I caught so many more on the float rig. Ooh, I got it. I caught so many more on the float rig that kind of became my primary thing. This is the scent stuff I've been putting on it. Well, it's probably five or six years old. No, it's a little bit trout. I thought it was one of those. There he goes. He escaped. You never know. Oh, there we go. Ooh, he's just splashing around. He's splashing around. Let's see if I can get him this direction. I'll measure him. Just to make sure. We'll check it out. Just short. Just barely. Barely short. Okay. Pretty decent one. I'm sure, my hook's exposed good. Man, that's three fish right there lost. That last one, I wanted it. Well, I wanted all three of them, but. Pliers for this guy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep a few today. I don't have a whole lot of fish in my freezer. 
and gave all my fish to my mom and dad. <laughs> this one's probably short. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna measure him. It might be 14. They gotta be 14 in Georgia. Let's see what we got. Oh man, this is a little old bitty one. big enough or not. Get that out of him. Let y'all see him. Must be a bunch of them right there. Bunch of them that size. Feels a slight bit better. cattle. I had the line all the way around him. Trout roping. I'll go measure him. Hey, hey. Pretty good eel of fun. Pretty good eel. Y'all ever heard that before? Pretty good eel. I don't really know what it means. But I've heard it. Good eel. I don't even know how you spell it. I guess it's I L L. Good eel of fun. Finally, been through a lot. Been very traumatic for that plastic shrimp today. Guys, I don't know if it's the, the gold shrimp, the Popper, what? But I mean, this thing is hands down today. I mean, no competition beating the shrimp, live shrimp. And I have a one of these on a jig that's a different color. I've had a couple bites on it, but I mean, this thing right here has been the deal today, guys. I don't know. I don't know if it's the color.
hết luôn been thinking about doing this for a couple of weeks and I just hadn't done it. Today I'm like, I'm gonna put that popping cork on. I know people catch them on it. And now I'm glad I did. Now I got some fish to clean. a video to make. Probably short a little bit. Pretty good one. Whoa, 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 sir. Pretty good one. I like it. I like it. fish feels like a pretty decent one yeah leave us another keeper nice Planting some fish today. fishing excellent day as far as weather fantastic uh, wish Paul had to come with me 